Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Siri in iOS 6.1.2. Now this iPod Touch 4th generation, it's running Siri in iOS 6.1.2. Let's go ahead and check here in general. About, there it is, 6.1.2. Now, I'm going to show you how to get Siri and some of the Siri proxies that are working for iOS 6.1.2. Uh, before we begin, very important, I think you should do is go to the general section and scroll down and go to the auto lock and select never so your device does not go to sleep because downloading Siri could take uh, quite some time. So after you do that, of course, you must be jailbroken in order to do this. So make sure you uh, jailbreak your device and launch Cydia. If you haven't jailbroken already, by the way, uh, make sure you check out my jailbreak video over on my YouTube channel. Links will be down below. Now, once we jump into Cydia, uh, first thing we want to do is make sure you let Cydia finish loading completely. Do not interrupt Cydia, okay? That way, you have a better chance of everything working per uh, properly for you. You want to go to the Manage tab. Again, once it's done loading completely, I'm not going to let it load because I've already installed this for the purpose of the video, of course. Uh, you're going to jump into the sort Manage and then Source section. Going to hit the Edit button. Of course, we're going to add a, a source here. Once you add the source, the source will be in the video description down below. It would be this source here, iHackStore.com forward slash repo. Uh, you want to scroll down to where uh, the Siri section. And you want to install, obviously, the Siri for iOS 6.1.2. Again, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation for this. Make sure you go and click that and install. Go through the installation process. Uh, it could take some time, so just let it finish uh, completely loading. Do not interrupt it again. Uh, once it's done, it's going to ask you to uh, respring or reboot your device, whichever, make sure you do that. And then you'll have two applications sitting on your desktop or your springboard. Uh, you'll have, uh, I'm sorry, you'll have one application sitting on your springboard, which is Siri DR. And you'll also have the Siri port already installed, of course. Uh, now, you want to go down here where it says free Siri uh, proxies or servers. There's two free servers that you can use, but my favorites, my uh, ones that work the best for me, is these uh, Google servers, which use Google APIs in order to connect to uh, servers and data information. Uh, right now, I'm using the Word Jelly, so if you want to use one of these, you want to go ahead and download certificate. And the next step, of course, will be downloading the certificate. Now, there's a few that use the certificate, and there's a few that don't. Uh, I'm using one that does not use a certificate. Uh, for example, I'm using the first one. It does not uh, need a certificate, so I'm not going to install it, obviously. But there's other uh, ones here that do use, so make sure you install a certificate if you have to. Now, you jump back once you install a certificate if you have to, and then you click the, the one you select. In my case, with Word Jelly, you click on the one you selected, and click the reset button. Again, I'm not doing that because I've already installed. Now, a quick troubleshooting tip. If Siri is not working for you after you install your server, you can go into the Siri Fix and you can um, click here on delete keys and then go ahead and restart Siri again power off your device and power it back up and make sure you go back to settings scroll down go to Siri DR go to Siri settings and activate Siri now when you activate Siri it's gonna switch itself off that's totally fine just let it, uh, let it switch itself off that's totally normal now if you're using a Google server which was one of the ones that I showed you uh, previously you must have this on so if you're using the Google server, make sure you switch that to on, scroll down, and hit the respring button. All right, guys? If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and you should have Siri working in iOS 6.1.2. So let's go ahead and get started. Ask a few questions here. What's the weather in New York City? There it goes. It's not super fast. Whoops. This is the forecast for New York, United States. So there it is. It gives you at least two-day forecast. You can also get some instructions down here on how to set up a seven-day forecast. It also sets timers and things like that. Set a timer for two minutes. There it goes. Setting the timer. So there's the timer. Uh, it did not show the image. Let's wait for the timer. Again, it's not super fast like Siri on the iPhone 4S and iPhone uh, 5. I have an iPhone 4S here. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, try them uh, side by side. See what uh, what all comes up here. 
So there's the timer. You can change it or keep it. It's uh, options that actually Siri do not give you. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to do certain other things like uh, open Safari. Install assistant extensions for this from Cydia. It even tells you what to do if you want uh, other tweaks and other enhancements that you can download from Cydia in order to get extra functionality on the Siri port itself. So it's telling me assistant extension will do the work for me. It will help me get more things done with Siri ports. Uh, now let's go ahead and ask a question here. See how long it takes uh, from the iPhone 4S and the iPod Touch. Who's the President of the United States? Now, obviously the iPhone 4S is going to be faster and better and more accurate at it. This wow. They came back with uh, a result uh, from uh, Will from an Alpha. Uh, you got more information here on the iPhone 4S, of course, it's running on Apple. And this, uh, you got your answer on the Siri uh, uh, proxy, uh, the, the Word uh, uh, word Jelly uh, proxy server as well, gave you an answer. Maybe not as pretty and as uh, fair, uh, in depth as Siri on the iPhone 4S and iPhone 5, but it does work, it does get the job done. Uh, now, not all the servers work 100% of the time. If one doesn't work for you, make sure you try it again. Uh, again, these servers are uh, reliant on Google APIs, and uh, the other free servers are reliant on Siri uh, keys and things uh, of that nature. So, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video on how to get Siri in iOS 6.1 and a few uh, server tips for you guys to enjoy Siri. Uh, please thumbs up if you like this video. Click the like button down there if uh, this worked for you and it helped you somewhat. I really do appreciate it, guys. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be down below, including the source to get Siri on your iOS device in iOS 6.1. Uh, and of course, guys, don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will catch you guys later. That's the timer. Peace.